Today we will learn how to place your design on a trifle brochure in Photoshop. So let's get started. I have already prepared the image and the design. I recommend you to follow along with this process so that you can get engaged more. The link is in the description for these both resources. Also we will add three partition just like in mockup image. So first we will convert your design layer to smart object so that we can work non-destructively and also able to change the design later. Now double click on your design layer and we will add partition just like these three. So I have this technique that I normally use. I create three rectangles with different colors and place them right next to each other. Make sure there is no gap between them and while holding control or command select all rectangles. Place them on the left top corner then scale towards the right top corner. Now we have equal size partition of three rectangles according to the document. Now press Ctrl or Command R for the ruler and drag the guide from the left and place it in between rectangles. Now we don't need these rectangles, delete them and take the line tool, set the style to dash and create two lines over the guide. Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the guides and save it. Close the file, it will automatically update it in our main file. Now reduce the opacity to 45%. Now go to edit, take the puppet warp tool. This is the main tool to make any image or text perspective. Now create a rectangle over the design. As you can see, the partition line is very important in this process. Otherwise, we will not able to get good results out of it. There is another feature of perspective warp tool. When we create two rectangles side by side, it will automatically snap together. Make sure all the points will be inside the design, not outside, and the partition will be on the dashed line. You can take your time in this process. Now in the header section, click on warp button and move the points to distort it, but it's not actually happening here because of some bug. I think I need to restart the software. It will take a while for me, not for you. So I have opened the Photoshop again and we are back on the same page. So when we click on the warp button in the header, we can now move the points according to the perspective of the image. Take your time here as well. Make sure all the points are on the design, not outside. After that, click on tick and increase the opacity to 100%. Now the design is according to the image, but it's missing the environment. A realistic feel is very important for any mockup. So to do that, set the layer mode to multiply. It's already giving a realistic look. But we are not going to stop here, while holding Alt or Option, drag a copy of the image on the top. Then again while holding Alt or Option, click in between your image and the top layer. It will be clipped with your design layer. And set it layer mode to overlay. And opacity will be 60%. It will give a shine effect to the brochure. Now while holding Ctrl or Command J, make another copy of the top layer. Set the layer mode to normal. Increase opacity to 100. Add an adjustment layer of levels and clip it with the bottom layer so it will only affect the clip layer. Now set the mid-tones towards white and slide the blacks towards white as well. Not too much, we just want white shines on the black. While holding Ctrl or Option, select both layers and press Ctrl or Command D to merge them. Now again clip it with the bottom layer and set the layer mode to screen. You can rename both layers as shine and shine effect too. If you want to add more contrast on your design, add an adjustment layer of levels, adjust the whites, mids and the blacks. We can now hide the dashed lines, double click on your image and hide both layers. You can place your design here and also you can change the color of the design, it will automatically update it in the main file. That's the beauty of smart object. I hope you learned something new, if you do hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon for learning updates. My name is Shubham, thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena. Let's meet on another great tutorial for the time being. Goodbye.